so the concept of sandwiching on a windsurf board is wrapping the blank with a high density foam skin um, and laminating either side of that and so you're basically spacing the laminates apart and the further you space them apart the stiffer it's going to be so similar to an eye beam they might see in construction so what we basically do is take our EVS blank and wrap it in high density foam starting to create a structure around the shape the laminate bond 5mm sheet of PVC is made up of glass fibre and a carbon thin patch to take the high load in this area. We add an epoxy resin with a foaming additive um, to get a better bond between the two foam surfaces because if you imagine if you put those up they're quite coarse they're not that smooth and so that allows the resin to expand and really lock into this, these two structures and bring them together with a laminate in between them. So the shaping stage, we still call this shaping, but a better description would be cleaning up the CNC shape blank. So the main thing I need to do here is to shape the tuck into the bottom sandwich, that's been the tuck edge, and then fair that back into the rail. Thing here is to get a really good transition back up into the rail to get it all performing as designed. Then the next thing to do is clean up the machining marks on the blank and get it all ready for putting the deck sandwich on. The deck sandwich needs to be cut to size and then needs to be darted um, and slits taken out of it to allow it to be wrapped around the three dimensional shape. The deck sandwich needs to be bonded to the deck and rails. We use a mixture of glass and two different weights, carbon fibre and the high load areas such as the heels, mast track area. We'll put a double layer but then we'll actually put that on 45 degrees so you've got glass fibres running in multiple directions in the layer where you're going to be stamping around. We make a mixture which we call glue which is a mixture of microlite which is a fairing powder and colonial silica which is a gluing powder and we put a bead of this around the entire tuck edge and also in the highly darted areas, just to allow for a better bond and make sure it's, we've got a really good bond at that tuck edge because that's obviously right around the corner. There's a deck block, high density deck block that goes in um, where the mast track's gonna be routed into in the next stage. And that's basically cradled in with a layer of six ounce cloth. And then we put a carbon patch over that to make a rigid area because obviously this load gets a lot of um, pressure and banging across chop, landing from jumps and all sorts of stuff. PVC deck sandwich on to the board takes place on what we call a table which is essentially a half mold so it's the has the bottom shape machined into it using a CNC machine so it guarantees like the perfect bottom shape and it also allows us to use quite high pressures if you use high pressure in your vacuum stages you can actually get away with um, slightly less resin which relates to lower weight We've just seen the um, sandwiching process, um, top and bottom sandwich, and the next stage will be we'll be reshaping. 
So that's checking the whole shape and the sandwich shape and cleaning that all up and installing all the parts ready for laminating. So come and check out the next one. bottom shape in this table is matched to the CAD shape at the early stages. So basically the, the bottom shape in the table matches the shape that we've actually shaped into the machine. The bottom shape in the table is matched to the CAD, so the bottom shape matches the bottom shape of the bottom shape in the table matches the bottom shape in the <laughs> back. <laughs> Do that again. <laughs>